Hey guys, I've got some unnecessarily complicated gradient nails for you today. Just ignore that long elaborate name I have down at the bottom because in truth I really had no idea what to call these. Let's get started. Since we're working with neons, it's best to add a white base coat first. You can watch my what's the best white polish video and see which one was the best. Next up, you're going to take some Simply Peel that you just refilled and apply it around your nails to protect from gradient messes. My videos are so predictable. When did I not use these same exact clips? Watch the completely useless how to refill your Simply Peel video up in the right hand corner. It's pretty much the story of what would happen if I actually went into teaching as a career. I'm using an overkill army of neon polishes, and I can't remember their names, so you can just look at the description box below where I will have written them. On a makeup sponge, I apply my first two colors, and I kind of went for a somewhat monochromatic look per nail. The middle nail you'll be seeing is the lucky orange slash coral nail. I'm focusing the sponging of the gradient towards the base of the nail because this is one half of the two-part scaled gradient. This neon is literally murdering my camera. Let's adjust something. A little better. Now, a lot of these words I say probably won't make any sense, so you can pretty much just tune me out and look at what I'm doing. Build up the opacity by applying two to three coats of spongy neonness. Don't worry about coloring the entire nail because the tip of the nail won't matter, you'll see next. Get in my tweezers. When you're done your first of four gradients, take your tweezers and peel off Simply Peel like no big deal. There we go. Little to no mess left behind whatsoever. I love it. You can find Simply Peel at the links below in the video description box. If you don't have it, then you're not a real nail artist. Apply a quick dry top coat and this will be the first of a ridiculous number of top coats that I will be applying in this tutorial. Let it dry for a good 15 to 20 minutes because we're going to use nail vinyls next. I can't count how many times I've said that exact same sentence. I got these chevron nail vinyls from twinkledtea.com. You can use my code simply for 10% off. Yay, look, I get you free money back. And I'm putting it halfway down the nail and I'm applying Simply Peel around the edges because we're going to do a gradient on the top half of the nail. That's right, so we're going to mask off the bottom half and we're doing a gradient on the top half of the chevron. So I could use Simply Peel to cover up that space that you see I'm covering with green tape, kind of like how I did in my blood drip mani, but I don't know, I was just lazy and I just wanted to use a piece of tape, okay? Sometimes I change things up. Save the environment, recycle your sponges. Cut it off for a nice clean edge. Now for this episode of sponge action, I'm going to paint it on in a triangular shape. I'm doing this to kind of match the shape of the gradient that I want to project onto my nail that you can see upside down. Now it's right side up. Bleh. Words. Refill your sponge another two to three times depending on how good your polishes are at being opaque. You can kind of go on each side of the chevron if you want. That probably would have been an easier way to get a nice even fade going on. But I like to take the hard way in life. Peel off your green painter's tape, like no big deal. <laughs> See what I did there? Peel off the Simply Peel a little bit so you got hanging on the edges. And then finally, peel off your chevron to reveal a beautiful scaled gradient. What you have in front of you, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the original scaled gradients that you saw for me in my old videos that no one used to watch because they were really boring and I didn't talk. Add your second quick dry top coat. Things are getting interesting. These are some thick striped nail vinyls I got from Twinkle Tea, and they're just the right amount of sticky to get me a nice clean line. You can kind of use these stripes for all sorts of things, not just stripes. So here I'm using them to make an X shape because I'm gonna do a gradient over the top half of the nail so you'll kind of see an X revealed when I go to peel them off. This probably makes no sense to you at this point. You're like, what are you doing? You're just putting more nail vinyls on your nails and then doing more gradients, it makes no sense. That's okay, you know what? It didn't make any sense to me while I was doing it. Most of the time I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Sometimes it turns out and sometimes it doesn't, but you gotta have fun with it, girl. Using some more green painter's tape at the bottom of my nail. I'm doing the triangle gradient business again. Challenges are fun. Dab, dab, dab on the nail. This time it's the opposite direction of the one you saw directly under it, which makes the top half of the nail now a reciprocal gradient on top of a scale gradient. See how that works? 
No? No? N n no, you don't. Okay, that's fine. Peel everything off, because peeling is fun. Guess what? Add another top coat. That's number three if you're counting. Make sure to let it dry again. If you don't listen to this step, then you will mess up your nail and undo all of your work. I'm using the striped nail vinyls to mask off the top half of the nail and focus my attention on the bottom. So I want to fill the chevron gap that I've created right here and I'm going to fill it with a gradient that's going the opposite direction of the one underneath it. Tape off everything. Do the triangle business again. Sponge it on the nail. Dab, dab, dab. Lots of dabbing today. Get your dab on. You got it. After this many, you will officially be the world's greatest dabber. Peel off everything for the last time, but don't breathe while you're peeling this off. Because if you peel it off and it rips up the base coat or otherwise messes up this manicure, you will have just wasted five hours of your life. <sighs> okay, I can breathe now. It doesn't look like a disaster. Add another top coat, cause what's one more at this point? And that's the final effect. And to be honest, it wasn't really as striking as I imagined it in my head. This is my doodle paper that I did at work. I guess if I used darker or more contrasty colors, it probably would have had a cooler effect. Whatever. To help bring out the pattern a bit, I decided to add some black acrylic paint. Picked it up from my local craft store and poured it out on a Greek yogurt lid container. I'm gonna use a striping brush to make some thin black lines. And one trick that I've mentioned before in one of my ancient historical videos with no voiceovers on how to make your paintbrush line smoother is just to dip it in a little bit of oil and then wipe off the excess oil. I say that and then my lines aren't smooth, of course. Honestly, I don't know how people film these tiny freehand detail things that require a steady hand on camera. Because first of all, my hand ain't steady. And second of all, I keep blocking the camera if it's gonna be good. And if I'm not blocking the camera, then I can't paint. Thank God for toothpicks. In one of my recent videos on how to pretend you can paint, I show you how using a toothpick to pick off all your mistakes in acrylic paint is probably the best thing ever invented. Ugh, honestly, freehanding lines is the worst thing ever. I'm too reliant on nail vinyl. So I'm like a nail vinyl addict. I can't go cold turkey. I can't live without you, nail vinyl. So I can't. Well, do the best you can. Um, not like me on camera here. Do what I say and not what I do. Don't block the camera like this either if you're making tutorials. Finally, put on your final top coat. This is number five of five. I'm using a matte top coat because I thought it would look cool with the neonness going on. Look, it's matte. Now, that looks cooler than the one without the lines. Personally, I think. It's a little more striking. You're probably thinking to yourself at this point, that was way too much effort for this. Like, no one is gonna go do their nails with four gradients and five million top coats for seven hours. That's not happening. And that's totally fine, okay? I did it for you. So you can spare yourself the time and effort of doing this, which probably isn't even worth it. You're welcome. Now go paint a boring dotic here on your nails. Thanks so much anyways for seeing this video through and realizing you're never gonna do this nail art ever. Menchie loves you either way. See you next time.